Uh, this question about the uh, confirmation number comes from uh, Roda Ochanda. Hi, I have tried to submit my confirmation number, but it is giving me that the letters are incorrect. Yes, it happens to many people. My question I will ask it to you. Uh, do you, did you write the confirmation number with a pen or did you take a confirmation number with a picture? Or did you print it out direct? Because if you wrote with a pen, there is a likelihood you didn't write the correct confirmation number. That would be the first uh, diagnosis I can tell you. But if you are using the actual printed one or the actual photo, you took a photo of it. The second diagnosis why the confirmation number you are saying it's wrong is because you might be confusing the following things. Number one, sometimes there are few things confusing people. That's why I tell people, don't write your confirmation number. Because in the confirmation number when it is written, I and one look very, very similar or alike. Zero and O look very, very similar or alike. One is big, like round. Another one is just like, so it's very, very difficult. So there are few letters of that kind of nature. Usually confuses people on whether to put the correct one. So that's number one. But sometimes when you write it, the problem is not on the confirmation number per se. The problem is on your last name. So when you write your last name, many people get confused. Let me give you an example. Let me uh, give an example using my name. Uh, my name is Ernest Makurilo. So it's Makurilo Ernest Boniface. Okay. So when you write the confirmation numbers, this is how it is. When you write your name, is first name is Ernest. Middle name is Boniface, last name Makurilo. But when you are going to apply the DV lottery, it will appear like this way. It will set the name then comma in english proper grammar when there is a name followed by a comma then another name follows there the name before with a comma that name is the last name or surname so when you are going to write your name make sure that you are going to make sure that when they say put it the last name go and put the name before comma don't go and put your full name. Majority of people, when they say put your last name, they are going to put the full name. Put your last name, they are going to put the name, which is the middle name, which is, for instance, Makurilo Ernest Boniface, they are going to put Boniface. Boniface is not my last name. The last name is Makurilo, the name before comma. So make sure that you put your last name, the name before comma, put the year of birth, and put the confession number as it is written. If you see there is a problem, try to... Uh, Retrieve, put like you forgot the confirmation number, then they will send you the information. You can put the information, you can get the confirmation number, and be in a position to use the correct confirmation number. But make sure that you use the, co the correct uh, last name. Don't get confused. Many people they do that. When I ask you, screenshot what, what you entered on the name, people all the, all the time they give me name which is wrong. So that is something you need to uh, understand uh, what does that mean in the confirmation number. And again, uh, that's what I'm saying. There is a video I will explain. When you, put the conf when you write and you have the confirmation number, take the photo of confirmation number, send it to your email. Take the photo of confirmation, confirmation number, send it to your friend. That means they can have us on their WhatsApp. Also save or print it out and put that confirmation number with your certificates, your transcripts. That means you don't lose your certificate very often or put inside your passport. But you don't write with a pen. Either print out or take a photo because you can take the exactly how it is written instead of you writing and making unnecessary uh, mistakes.